uh, Bailey, I guess th this, um, maybe not an overwhelming international team, but I guess what's the dynamic on the IU swim team when you have you know, all these different swimmers, you know, trying to represent different nations, but, you know, like when you're on the, on the college team, you know, it's all for the Hoosiers. Um, it, we all go to these international meets and obviously we're competing for our own countries and we want our countries to succeed as a whole, but individually we're all rooting for each other. Um, I mean, you want to see your teammates and your friends succeed. So it's nice to have, have friends and supporters in the stands who maybe aren't for me in particular, who maybe aren't on team Canada or for my teammates who aren't on team USA. Um, and it just kind of expands your support group. Anybody else have any questions? Kirk, go ahead. And Bailey, it, uh, you know, is a, it's a late addition. I mean, I guess, what are your thoughts about, you know, getting this opportunity and, um, you know, finally get on this world stage here? Um, I'm really excited that this past year has just been quite a roller coaster. And honestly, I think if the trials had have happened in 2020 when they were supposed to, I, I wouldn't have made the team. I wasn't, I wasn't mentally prepared physically. My body was ready, but um, I think I was, I was just questioning myself too much. And this year has given me an opportunity to uh, mature and grow as an athlete. And with the help of my coaches at IU and, and my teammates at IU, I got to the place where I needed to be for the trials. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to go to Tokyo. I think I have a lot more in me um, than what I even did this weekend. And I, I performed very well this weekend. Um, still only about six weeks out from it. Um, and you know, more training under my belt going into the Olympics, I'll be um, in an even better place. Andy Ross. Hi, Bailey. I know that we had Zach Apple on earlier and he was talking about his transfer to IU and how um, you know, that kind of ignited or his Olympic dream a little bit. And when in your transfer from Denver to IU, was that kind of were the Olympics on your horizon? Was that a possibility in your head? Like, where were you thinking at of where your position was internationally when you made that transfer? Yeah, so um, a, a big part of my decision to transfer to IU was pursuing an Olympic dream. Um, when, I, I mean, Denver as a program built me. I was not fast enough to be recruited by Indiana coming out of high school. So my first three years at the University of Denver um, and with their help, I was able to get to a place in my athletic career where, um, you know, I, I could be at Indiana um, and have a place on, on that team. So I owe a lot, of, a lot of thank you to my former program, but um, getting to IU is kind of what was a catalyst um, in, in my Olympic process. I, it was still it, getting, when I got to IU, we all knew that it was going to be um, difficult and it was going to take a lot of hard work. Um, and it was still going to be, even, even if I put in all the work, even if I did everything right, it was still going to be, you know, up in the air. We, it was, nothing was ever hundred percent sure. So getting to this point and having put in all the work and, and it actually working out has been really great. And um, I definitely would attest a lot of that to my, to my trans. And what is it being a part of such a strong Canadian women's team? Just there's metal contenders everywhere on just, what is it like to be a part of that moving forward for the next five or six weeks? Sure. I'm really excited. I feel honored to be a part of this team. Um, and to just be competing with, these girls, I, I think our trials was showed how strong we are. And, you know, my, my time in the 200 IM was around two seconds under the A cut and I still was at a third place finish. So I, th I think that is just 
that it just shows how strong we are and how um, much of, of competitors we're going to be going into the summer games. Um, and I'm really excited for, for what we can do as a group. Dustin? Just wanted to ask again about what you said about um, just the difference between, not the difference between, but, but going from Denver to Indiana and, and just seeing it just sort of change levels. What's just different? I guess, what, what was it about Denver that built you? And when you get to Indiana, how can you, at what point in, in what ways do you sense that, that this is something that, it's, that operates at a different level? I think a huge asset that Indiana has that unfortunately at the time Denver didn't have was they had a post-grad professional group who was pursuing athletic careers as, as their, their main focus. Um, University of Denver was really, really great for my undergrad experience. Um, but when I got to Indiana, there was just a heightened, um, I guess, training environment, just because there was, there was already, you know, Olympians and, um, professionals there who were there solely for uh, the swimming experience um, and having those people to push me and to also have that Olympic mindset um, always around me I think is is kind of what helped me get to this point that I got to this weekend. <laughs> 